Right, hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models and welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry, I've been a bit, a bit uh, waylaid this past week or so. Uh, had really bad sort of chest and coughs and splutters and, and I couldn't, to be honest with you, I couldn't really sit and talk to you on camera and I couldn't really talk and shoot anything on camera because it was just every five minutes I was coughing and yeah, it's been grim. Um, anyway, so, catch up. Uh, there's been other stuff going on. Um, got some of the model kits in the stash sorted out. And we've got on with the uh, seven class lifeboat. Um, but it's turning it, that's turning into a bit of a mission actually. Because there's, there's quite a lot of different things to paint. And it's things where one side's one colour and one side's the other and, and um, a lot of the colour scheme on the on the instructions looking at research online and looking at the ships online um, I don't think Airfix got it absolutely correct I mean it's good, it's, it'd be fine but it's not the level of accuracy that I, I would like um, we've also got some other things, uh, we've got some figures and things, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort the camera out, get over to the bench, and we'll have a look and see what we've done. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, if you've been watching my sort of Facebook channel and uh, have a look on, uh, what else is it, Instagram? Um, you'll have noticed that um, I put on a bit of couple of pictures of the new racking in uh, in my workshop here, uh, and it's quite helped. It's helped tidy up quite a lot. So it means that I've got a bit more room for everything else, and I've got a clean. Well, actually, at the moment today, I've got a clean desk, um, and up here where I used to keep loads of kits and stuff, I sort of cleared that out. So. That's been pretty useful having those. Um, they were they were off Amazon. They were pretty cheap. I think they worked out at uh, about eighteen pound each rack. And because it's not holding lots and lots of weight, I thought, yeah, why not? It's a it's a relatively cheap way of of storing stuff. But anyway, let's get on and uh, we'll uh, have a look at what we've got to. Right, first and foremost. Um, I did have somebody ask about, um, it's a shame they don't have any crew on, on the Airfix kit. And uh, so I had a look online and I came across a company called Scale 3D. Um, and they do sets of RNLI figures. Um, and this is a group that I got. Let's see if we can get this all sort of focused and stuff. But it's, uh, it's basically, a, a you can get a whole selection of figures for the crew. Um, and this was a set that I bought. I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't very expensive. Probably about, I think it worked out at about a pound a figure, which in this day and age is not too bad. Um, but they, they're the, the lifeboat crew. So I thought, yeah, I'll give those a go. Um, I ordered them off eBay. They arrived within in days, which was great. Um, and they're pretty good. They're pretty good figures. I've given them a, a coat of... Uh, of uh, white primer just to, uh, really just to highlight things and see what see what they look like um, they're obviously going to be painted in bright colors um, I think it's a sort of yellow yellow and orange and white and all sorts so um, the next stage with th those figures is is really to add some paint and I've, I've left them on the 3d printed bases because they're actually held in by all these little these little tabs um, which is quite good, it means I can get hold of them when I'm painting them and all of that. So, uh, yeah, uh, try try the company, uh, Scale 3D. Um, I'll put a link in the, in the description below. They have a website and they do all sorts of figures for different things. There's a whole range of things, lots of, lots of stuff for sort of model railways, for... Uh, military type things, mechanics, all sorts of different things, and I think that you can you can order them from what I found 
you can order them and ask them to do it on a particular scale. So uh, so that's pr pretty cool. I mean, if, if I really wanted to, I suppose I could ask them to do one of these figures in 124 scale um, or something like that. But there's all sorts of things there. So it's worth definitely worth checking the site out. And, and as I say, I'll put a link in the description below. Right, moving on. Yeah, so uh, I assembled the the hole. It's got a bit of a spludge on there. I think I think I think when I was painting it, um, they're sort of glove prints really. But that's fine because all of this underside is going to be done. Assembled all of this, put the bow thrusters in, um, and basically just just put that together. Um, this is the area of of the wheelhouse and, and the controls and the floor on that I think is is a, is a darker color than this this is sort of like the the dark the sort of deck gray that they want it um not sure yet whether or not I'm going to put it onto onto the stand it comes with a nifty stand I've actually put it on a bit of card there just to separate it makes it hard easier to manipulate but um yeah so that the whole sort of done like that um, the next stage with this is probably going to be to mask it all off uh, and then start working on the underside uh, and uh, get the color of the hole um, which is sort of like a, a a deep blue and and whatnot so I'll get that on that that'll be done next in the meantime I've got uh, quite a selection of of parts here that have all been painted with a white primer um, I'll probably have to revisit this but essentially these uh, are going to be white primer and then orange so um, I'll do these um, I think a white primer look great because it'll make the, the orange pop um, same with these two bits this is the that's the roof of the of the cabin um, that's had a black underside which is there and um, I'll give that a, an orange top side uh, there's a little sort of dinghy thing um, that's got white primer it's actually got a little hint of orange in it that I think was left in, in the airbrush didn't clean it very well Bob but anyway that's that's only primer so it doesn't really matter that much you've got a couple of parts here that are all ready for black primer um this is the the tread tread plate on on the that actually goes on the roof of the cabin there's a there's a tread plate there um and this part here is is the controls um, on the roof as well um these are the is the control panels in the inside of the wheelhouse and and just because um they look fairly plain well this is a computer screen there's a there's a sort of a little box there slightly different colors than the reference photos I've looked at and there's there's another sort of panel there which was in slightly different color and there's there's a different sort of although this was plain I thought it needed something else so I put a, these are these are just little pieces of 10,000 plastic card um, I'll give this another coat of black primer and then I'll go in and look at masking and detailing some of this this bits and pieces whatever um, so that's that's sort of that this this is why it's taking so long it's um, it's it's a uh, yeah it, it's like every little part is older than a minute this is it's something else so these three pieces here according to the instructions um, the, these walls are grey and then the other side all of these I think if I remember rightly I, I haven't had a lot but I think it's uh, that side's grey that side's black that side's grey that side's black and I think this one is I'm, I'm really not sure I, I've got to reference this again you've got fire extinguishers there and obviously they're going to be bright red and and sort of chrome so they've got to be picked out and then I've got a whole few pieces here which are uh, parts that, that are actually going to be orange so they've been given a, a white primer and a, and a dust over with orange um, the orange that I'm using is a Vallejo actually it's Vallejo orange 
and it's uh, 71083 um, which I think is probably the right colour I mean I've compared it with some of the online references and it looks it's as orange it's orange as good as damn it um, but yeah so that's where we are with the uh, with with the um, lifeboat it's taken longer than uh, than I'd hoped um, as I explained because I have had this sore throat and whatnot um, and, and uh, to be honest it's absolutely wiped me out and I've not had the energy to to well it's been hard work anyway it's just I uh, just haven't had any energy but we'll move on to the next stages I think and we'll get some more of this paint done and then we start more like, as I say we'll get the the hull painted and and get get that all sorted out over the next week or so um, it's going together well it is going together very very well it's a really nicely built kit or nicely made kit actually um, I think Airfix have done really well with this one um, I do understand from what I'm hearing online is that they're going to re-release this kit later on this year there's a new kit coming out um shortly which is a, a smaller version of the of a lifeboat smaller version um and that's coming out shortly and uh yeah make a nice pair of pair of lifeboats um if they do the same as they did last time uh, i think when this was released uh for every sale 60 pence of the sale price of the product was actually going to support the royal national lifeboat institute uh which got to be done isn't it anyway thanks for watching thanks for watching me waffle and uh i'll see you on the next video bye for now